I want to start, as I was preparing for this message, one of the first little antidotes has to, name, has to do with the name of Jesus. And as I was preparing this, it, I went back to my seminary days where this book played a very, Rose's book, Bible charts and themes, played a very important part in my learning. I knew there was a chart somewhere in this book of the names of Jesus. And I wanted to share the names of Jesus with you on this Christmas season as we're finishing out this Christmas week. Almighty. Author love, bread of life, bridegroom, bright in morning, chosen, chosen, door, father, faithful and true witness, firstborn, God, the head of the church, the high priest, the holy one, the hope, the image of the invisible God, judge, ruler, king, of the lamb of God, the last Adam, the light of the world, the lion, the living one. Towards messenger of the covenant, prince, prophet, resurrection and life, savior, shepherd, son of God, true vine, the way, the truth, the life, wisdom of God, wonderful. these names that are so prevalent throughout the whole Bible. I pray that one of those, that you connected with one of those, that that is a personal way that you think about Jesus. New England school. Teenager. Here's the Christmas story for the first time. His teacher tells it well. He is fascinated by the amazing story. Risking his friend's mockery, after the lesson, he thanks her for the story. But one thing disturbed him. But one thing disturbed him, so he asked. Why did he get why did they give the baby a swear word for a name? Why did they give the baby a swear word for a name? That's our culture in which we live today. People don't see Total disconnect with our culture to the church should not surprise us. What should alarm us is the disconnect of the church. This Christmas, have you found the baby? This Christmas, have you heard the good news that will cause great joy? Six through seven. The angel said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. The Lord, the God who inspires the prophet, sent his angel to show his servants. Look, I am coming. Blessed is the one who keeps the word. 
prophecy written in words if you're familiar with the Christmas story found in Luke 2. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Today in the town of David, the Savior has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared to the praising God. that appeared. Revelation 22, the Lord sent his angel. That's a different message altogether. How real it is. But in both cases, they brought good news of the revival. Two, eight, nine. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I had heard them, I fell down and worshipped at the feet of the angel who had been showing them to me. But he said to me, I am a fellow servant with you and with your fellow prophets and with all who keep the words of this world. Worship God. The angel. Don't do that. Don't do that. Here in Revelation, the angel says, God, worship God. The shepherds, after being told where to find the baby, found him and worshipped God. We pondered them in our heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things. wonder if we may ponder all the questions. What part does he play? Is. Book of Romans. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. That's true. told me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this scroll, because the time is near. Let the one who does wrong continue to do wrong. Let the vile person continue to be vile. Let the one who does right There will always be right Is until the judgment seat of Christ. Till then, we who understand these words are ready to tell people come in contact hope. Hearts revere Christ. Always be prepared to give an answer. You to give the reason for the hope. Do not seal up these words. To seal them up would be to close the book. 
to hide the word, to keep it from people. Family. That's the new neighbor that moved in across. That's the co-worker that sits in the next cubicle that constantly complains about how bad his or her life is. Because for them, maybe some of them, no choice. Joshua. Serving the Lord. If serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, choose for yourself this day whom you serve. Whether the gods of your ancestors serve or the gods of the Amorites serve. Land in which you live. But as for me, We have choices. And it shows we don't care where you came from. Lovely book that so jumped off in the altar here a little while ago. I apologize to those that was in those that were in my Sunday school lesson this morning. Or I'm going to read a section of the teaching out of the Sunday school. Because it's so prevalent to the way our culture is today. Church, this is for you. As believers, we must make it our personal business to point to the point, we make sure our world understands that no other celebrity, historical or political figure, is in the same category. Holy man. No other human being. Privilege. Testimony. The pr privilege is joining our voices with those who have gone before us, including John the Baptist. The challenge is recognizing that we witnesses to Christ. That we witness to Christ. That our witness often takes place in a culture that is hostile. Of Jesus. His expression of faith was evident of a deep humility. Here was the most sought after minister of all of Israel. He was the talk of the town, followed by large crowds who listened to his teaching and went into the Jordan River to be baptized. At the peak of his ministry, John the Baptist committed the one act every publicist fears. He announced his upcoming departure directed the eyes of the public to someone else. In effect, John redirected the entire movement he had begun. Same way, we too should call those we have influenced who are following us. Our conviction rests in the truth that Christ alone Have you ever been outside an event that you so desired to get go to but didn't have a ticket? The 8.30 service, I told the story about being in Texas to a military school and we wanted to drive down about three hours to go to a baseball game. And we thought, surely, as big as a baseball stadium, the four of us could find tickets. Surely there'd be tickets left. So we drove down. 
got down there and it was sold out. There was no tickets to be had. Maybe you didn't have enough money to purchase it. You weren't wearing the right clothes. Maybe you needed a tie and a jacket. Maybe you just took too long to decide. You knew about the event. You kept putting off the purchase of your ticket until the event was sold. And you were not accepted. My reward is with me, and I will give each person, give to each person according to what he has done, Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes. Outside are dogs, those who practice magic arts, sexual murderers, the idolaters, everyone who loves the practices. No one sitting here today will be able to stand before God on that day and say, I didn't know. I was never told. Let me be clear of these two things. Jesus is coming back. And there are two eternal places. Spirit and the bride say, Let the one who is saved. Let the one who is saved. Let the one who is saved. Testimony for who? I have sent my angel to give you the, this testimony for the individual, for the family. For the government, for the rulers, the kings, the president, I sent my angel to give test testimony to my bride. Brothers and sisters, do you know, do you understand the position we have as the church? The family that believes in the gospel message, the good news of Christ, we are his bride. We have the ability to have a relationship with the one that died for us. He now sits at the right hand of God and intercedes on our behalf, the one that is coming back to get his church. Over this past year, our pastor taught us through this book church member. All part in his back. Speak so directly to what it means. Church membership is a gift. A gift must be treasured. It should not be taken for granted or considered lightly. Because it is a gift, we must always be thankful for it. And when we are thankful, Best time. The gift the true appreciation actually want Therefore, see the natural hope joy of our salvation. Consider it a privilege to say so we look for the, those opportunities. Gift, church. always remember. Ephesians, out of the reverence for Christ. Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands, 
as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, which he is the Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives submit to your husband in everything. Husbands, remember what Christ was willing to do for you. Ready and willing to do. Wives, be assured that submitting is in no way being less than. You are completing us. You make us something that we cannot be without you. What is a church without Christ? What is a husband without a wife? Alone. Not a family. Maybe the question for today's culture should be, what is a believer without a church? So many people believe that they can worship, do their own thing, and not be part of a church, but still be in God's Word, be doing God's will. It is God's will for people to be part of. What is a church? Very clear in the great commission. The disciples went to Galilee to a mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. They everything I Surely I The Spirit in the Bride say come. The Holy Spirit of a holy God says come. The Bride, the Church of the Living Christ. I would ask any of you that are here today, if you don't understand this whole church thing, there's something stirring. Something making you ask the question. There is a starting point. You're here today and you have questions. Linger. I will be here after. Church, remember, our responsibility is not to prop ourselves up. Closing. Number 445. Number 445. Father God, as we go, keep people safe, a little treacherous. Folks that have come out to take part in your church, we give you all credit for what goes on here. May we glorify you inside these walls.